obviously Rafa has had the edge against Roger Federer, but that was on slower surfaces, particularly clay. This is a, a hard court and it's playing fast. And that is what Roger Federer loves. So I, I would say it's a 50-50 proposition because of the court. If it was slower like it was last year, I'd say Rafa has the edge, but uh, now the court's faster, the balls are faster, and also Rafa just had a grueling, grueling match against Dimitrov. I mean, I think it's a, it's a tough call. I mean, um, you know, I think the extra day for, for Roger uh, to have off, I think, is important for him. Um, you know, both obviously coming off of really tough five-set matches. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, Rafa's fit. Um, he looked really strong yesterday, even in the latter stages of, of playing a five-hour match. It's going to be a great match. It's so hard to pick either one of them. Um, you know, obviously you go to the head-to-head, -head and that favors Rafa, but the court speed and the extra day's rest really favors Roger. Um, overall, I think just tennis wins, fans win, sports wins. Um, and at this point, being a huge fan of both, I'm going to be happy either way. I, I don't think I can pick a winner because I think they're so evenly matched and they, they both, depending on how they play, because I know that someone with a big forehand like Nadal, he's going to push it into Roger's backhand side. So, you know, you, you just have to sort of enjoy the, enjoy the match, I think, is what I'll do.